What's up everybody? This is Winmark. Um, this is a response to uh, Meta Rockwell and Strolling Bones' uh, co-op world building and uh, setting creation uh, videos. Um, I just got two cents or so to put in there. Uh, I really uh, think that um, there's uh, certain pros and cons to, to the uh, various suggestions that the guys made. Um, uh, as far as the first thing, which, uh, seems like a, a major issue, which would be, uh, game mechanics. Um, on one hand, I kind of feel as though, uh, maybe, uh, everyone should, uh, decide upon a mutual, uh, system, uh, of mechanics to use. That's from a game that already exists that uh, everybody can agree upon. Um, and uh, this is basically for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, because actually it will uh, allow everyone to concentrate more on the setting itself since everyone kind of keeps reiterating that they want a simple uh, system of mechanics and everyone wants to focus more so on storytelling. So. If uh, there can be a uh, simple basic system out there, which I'm sure there is, that everyone can agree upon that uh, this system um, uh, is able to uh, do everything that everyone wants it to, you know, um, then I think that, that that should be agreed upon first to get that out of the way. And then uh, everybody can concentrate more on the, the setting itself and the uh, background. You know, which seems to be what uh, the emphasis is on, is on anyway. Um, uh, I've got a little bit of experience with this. Uh, I've been developing a homebrew system for the last like two to three years. Um, and it's gone through a ton of different changes and variations and everything. Uh, I put it down for a while and come back to it later and I go, oh, I don't really like this. You know, I'll change that. But anyway, it can really, uh, it can really, um, be a really large mountain to climb um, and I just think that if you guys can decide upon a, a basic system that uh, everybody's happy with you can get that out of the way and then concentrate on the setting and get the the real creativity uh, uh, going on um, that's just my first suggestion um, the second thing is that uh, uh, Meta Rockwell uh, touched upon a voting system and that's fine you know I think that's a good idea um, I think that's really uh, diplomatic and um, it, 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 it lets everyone feel as though that uh, they're they have a say so you know um, and that they're really part of a cohesive group you know this uh, project isn't necessarily uh, has any one person's name stamped on it and you know that's cool that's cool and that's fair so that's a great idea um, and as far as the sequence of ideas and everything goes, uh, once um, once it's decided upon what type of campaign it's going to be, um, I know uh, Strolling Bones was saying that uh, you know it needed to be decided whether this was going to be a uh, not to quote him because this isn't a direct quote, but you know high fantasy versus low fantasy um is there going to be any technology involved uh uh what else can i throw out there uh clockworks um is it going to be uh is there going to be any kind of arcane magic or is it just going to be divine will it be both um you know that's that's stuff that needs to be uh decided upon too um uh let's see what else was i thinking about um Oh, as far as the setting itself goes, uh, Strolling Bones said that perhaps, um, depending upon what type of longevity you wanted your character to have, that that might be the determining factor of uh, the, the the system that's being used, or the campaign that's being used. I'm sorry, um, and correct me. You know, anybody correct me if I'm misquoting anybody or anything. Um, but uh, I know one of the things that he mentioned was that. Uh, um, uh, he was saying that if, uh, Meta Rockwell was going to want to play a character any long than, longer than perhaps six sessions or so, that 
he may want to or everyone may want to think about using a pre-existing system setting um, that's already a little bit more fleshed out because there's a lot more uh, material basically to to uh, uh, pull out of that system uh, or that setting you know as opposed to something that's just being developed as we go along um, it, it may somehow kind of stifle uh, uh, a character's uh, growth basically um, I mean you know no disrespect disrespect or anything but I, I kind of disagree with that um, in the experience that I've had um, it took a little while, not very long, before the, the ball got rolling, but once it did, it really turned into a boulder that really couldn't be stopped. Um, uh, basically, me and other friends of mine uh, basically just uh, started with a basic uh, idea of what the various uh, races and areas were like uh, of the campaign and everyone just had free reign to just start throwing ideas out there and i'm the type of person that i really like bouncing ideas around because uh um, once i hear an idea from one person a lot of times i can just add on to it and and uh manipulate that idea and just go from there and then the ideas bounce around the table and you know things just blossom from there it seems like so to make a long story short I think that even though it may be a brand new uh, set, setting, <clears throat> excuse me, um, if there are enough uh, creative ideas going around the table, you know, the ideas will actually uh, grow faster than the characters will, basically, you know. Um, so, you know, I, but that, that can be decided upon. Um, and then also, uh, and uh, Strolling Bones did say this, um, even if you do decide or you know the persons involved decide to use a pre-existing uh, campaign setting that campaign setting can be altered you know people do that all the time you know you can do what you want to it just because it is the fallen realm fallen just because it's the forgotten realms doesn't mean that you know you can't add other races to it or you know change it any way you want to that's the beauty of it you know um, and uh, let's see that's it that's all I got actually so um, thanks for listening. Appreciate it.